Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology. This is Rajshri here and I am discussing about Capricorn moon signs and Capricorn ascendance and how the month of October is going to be for you. And before I go ahead with the predictions, a big thank you to all of you for your supportive messages, lovely messages that you posted while I was not well. Thank you so much again. In October, we can see a lot of planetary energies are playing in the sky. Mercury is exalted, sun will be debilitated. Mercury and Mars are combust, Jupiter and Saturn are retrograde and Venus and Rahu are crossing Gandanta. So it's a whole lot of energy and very difficult energies to handle. Let's now see how these are going to impact you in October. For you, the fast moving planets are impacting your 10th house the house of profession, career, your social status. The month begins with Mercury being exalted in Virgo, that's your ninth house. Although Mercury also gets combust from day one, this transit of Mercury is good for your travel and higher education. However, at times you may feel that luck is not supporting you as expected. Father's health will also need care. Avoid differences with father or your teacher or mentor. On 19th, Mercury comes to Libra, your 10th house and meets Ketu over there. And Mercury in the 10th house is good for professional progress and recognition at work. But Ketu's presence there can bring a change in your career. Again, father's health will need care. As the month progresses, you will find Mercury is bringing better results for you. Venus will come to Leo, your 8th house, on 2nd October. Before coming to Leo, Venus will cross Cancer Leo Gandanta for the final time. So the first couple of days can be a bit turbulent. Remain careful if you are driving. Take care of health as well. Thereafter, Venus can fetch you financial gains from property. Gains of a property or buying a new car can also happen for you. If you are looking for a romantic relationship, Venus here can bring a beautiful partner for you, particularly if you are a male. Overall, this is a good transit of Venus for money and real estate. You may also gain from parental property or assets during this time if it applies to you. Venus also indicates a deep change in your career. Somehow all the planets are impacting your career in the, in the month of October. Keep listening, I'll discuss more. Saturn's aspect will be there on Venus and this will be good for financial gains. However, Saturn will also cause delays in the process. So, take that into account as well. Sun will be in your ninth house till 17th of October. This is good if you are looking to migrate to another country or state. However, this can bring some blockages in your luck factor and overall prosperity. It also indicates that your father's health will need care. On 14th, sun will get eclipsed. After the eclipse, you may find that things are getting slightly easier for you. However, a transformation will be felt in life in October and that's for sure. This transformation need not be bad. It can also bring better things to you in the long run. On 17th, sun goes to your 10th house and gets debilitated there. Sun will face Ketu and will join Mars and Mercury. Sun does very well in the 10th house, gets directional strength over there. However, 
the debilitation and Ketu's presence is not really helping much. Therefore, in the second and third week of October, there may be a change in your work area. You may feel dissatisfied as well in, in your current work. Venus and Sun's exchange after 17th October will be good if your work area is in insurance, tax, audit, astrology, history or research. Mars will come to your 10th house on 3rd October. Mars encounters Ketu here again. On 5th, Mars and Ketu will form an exact conjunction. Mars is also combust. Mars in general helps to prove your point in the workplace when it transits through the 10th house. However, with such afflicted Mars, remain extra careful of differences with the boss, particularly till 23rd. Ketu and Mars conjunction in your 10th house can actually give rise to uh, big time conflict, so be mindful of that. Overall, the planets are strongly indicating a change, a transformation in your career for you in October. And take care of your mother's health too. Avoid property deals in the first week of October. Jupiter is aspecting your 10th house. So, whatever professional or any other change that comes in your life, it will be good for you in the long run. Now, coming to Jupiter, Jupiter is placed in your fourth house and is retrograde. From third, Jupiter's dispositor Mars will be highly afflicted. Rahu in the same house as Jupiter is crossing the volatile Gandanta zone. Rahu's energy is unpredictable, so is the Gandanta energy. So take additional care if you are making any property deal. Mother's health and domestic peace will also need care. This is not only because of Jupiter and Rahu's placement in your fourth house, but also because so many malefic planets are aspecting this house. So you need to find a way to manage your mental anxiety, calm your mind with meditation, music, yoga or in any other positive way. Saturn, your sign lord, is transiting through your second house and is retrograde. For Capricorn moon signs, this is the final stage of Sarisati, whether you are a moon sign or an ascendant. Saturn is drawing your attention to finances and also to your family matters. Some final changes will be required to bring stability in these matters before Saturn goes direct in early November. Saturn here can also take you away from home. In October, Saturn will also receive Venus's aspect. This is good for financial matters and will also help you to add to your wealth. Saturn will go back to Dhanishta on 15th October. This will be good for Uttarashara and Shravana Nakshatra born Capricorn moon signs for wealth. You will also get help from right kind of people when you need it. Dhanishta born Capricorn people need to take care of health and mental anxiety. And in other areas of life, you are going to get somewhat neutral results. On 28th, a partial lunar eclipse is happening in your 4th house. Lunar eclipses impact our emotions to a great extent. And it is happening in the house of emotions. So try to remain calm on this day. Uh, you may also find that your spouse may also feel a bit emotionally upset. At last, on 30th of October, the biggest event of the month is taking place. Rahu and Ketu will change signs on this day. Rahu will go to Pisces, your third house, and Ketu will go to Virgo, your ninth house. Rahu's transit is very good for you, and Ketu's transit 
you know, increases spirituality in you. In a nutshell, both the transits are indicating travel, change of location, new initiatives for you. The impact will be felt in the next one and a half years. But in these two days, you are not going to feel much of an impact of this change. What will be more important in October is Rahu's volatile energy in the Gandanta degree of Aries. I have discussed about it a while ago. And also watch my video on Rahu and Ketu's sign change to understand this change in detail. I shall also come up with sign and nakshatra wise results very soon. In October, chant Hanuman Chalisa for protection if your faith allows it. Otherwise, pray to the Almighty as per your own faith. Thank you so much for watching this video and listening to the predictions. If you feel that these predictions are helping you to manage the difficult energy of October, Please like the video, share with others as well. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.